Hello, I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. In this video, I'll show you how to remove vocals from a song in Adobe Audition. Get involved in one of my upcoming audio production courses. They open every couple of months for enrollment, and I always accept a maximum of 20 students each time, so I can provide personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to each and every student. If you'd like to learn more about the world of audio, head to mrc.fm slash learn. So here I am in Adobe Audition with a very short song. Well, it's a jingle. Audio production is more and more. This is Mike Russell on Music Radio <laughs> Now, as much as I love that jingle and I love the vocals, there is a really easy way in Adobe Audition to remove vocals far more advanced uh, than some of the tools you see in other audio editors. It's under the effects menu and you want to go to stereo imagery and you are looking for the central channel extractor because essentially most vocals sit on the center channel. They sit in the middle, whereas all the instruments are stereo and around. So we're removing the central channel, which will remove the vocals, or at least it should do in theory. Uh, now there are loads of presets here. Usually this is on default like this. That's how you start with the central channel extractor. It's really not as scary as it looks because you can start from a preset that is kindly designed for you uh, and included with Adobe Audition. It's called Vocal Remove, and there's plenty of others if you want to play. So you can drop the vocals. If you're making a karaoke track, you can lift the vocals up if they're not loud enough. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. You can even draw out an acapella as well. Let's start with Vocal Remove and see what it does with this track. I can't hear any vocals. That's just music. And that's exactly what we want, but it doesn't always work out that perfectly, which is why I'm going to show you what this effect is doing and how you can tweak it uh, to get the kind of sound you want. So first of all, the center channel level is extremely important to pay attention to. This is how loud or quiet the center channel will be. So obviously at minus 40 dB, the center channel, the vocals have pretty much gone, but I'll play back and start fading up. You'll hear what will happen. So as I fade the center channel up, that brings back in the vocals. And of course, I can increase it. I can boost it. I can boost the vocals louder than the music if I wish. So I can actually alter the volume of the vocals after a mix has been created, which is amazing. Let's play this. Audio production is more. Now you can hear the vocals actually went 6 dB higher than the music bed itself, which is amazing. But I'm eliminating vocals, so minus 48. Completely gone. You may, however, notice a degrade in the quality of the audio. Unfortunately, this is really difficult to avoid because you're playing with frequencies that sit inside musical instruments as well as vocals. But there is a little bit you can do. Here, down in the frequency range area, you can change where the bass cutoff happens and where the treble or the high end cutoff happens. Uh, so I can increase the bass, and as I do this, you'll hear the bass line of the vocals coming back in. Let's do this now. So as we're hitting around 600 hertz, you're hearing you're hearing that bass. So my idea here to get this perfectly tuned for this particular track, and it will be different for every track you're working with, is to move this bass frequency down until I can't hear the vocals anymore in my headphones. Let's do it again. Okay, I'm hearing ghosts at about 230 hertz and around 210, I've completely eliminated the vocals from this track. So I'm going to stick with 210 there, and you'll see as I change this, the center frequency changes as well down here. Uh, so now we'll do the same with the high end, and let's listen to how this affects things. So definitely around 3000 hertz or 3 kilohertz, you can hear that, that high end, that crisp vocal coming in again. So again, I'm going to tune this up until I can't hear the vocals anymore uh, on the high end. Okay, and I think around around 15 kilohertz or 15, just over 15,000 hertz, uh, we got rid of the vocals. So there you go. That's working well for my particular setup. And actually, it really doesn't sound that bad, does it? So this is how you do it. This is how you remove vocals from a song in Adobe Audition. You need to go to the central or center channel extractor, as it's called. This is the effect you should be using and learning. It can do so much more. This is just an introduction to this. And maybe if you want to see more videos like this on my channel, do let me know in the comments. And let me know what your experience is with this, uh, because I'm always looking to make more tutorials like this. In fact, if you subscribe to my channel, you can get a whole ton of videos all about Adobe Audition. Um, 
Something else I want to show you as a bit of a bonus, uh, although it doesn't work very well in my opinion, is you can do the inverse here of moving the center channel level out. You can actually move the side channel levels out, which is of course the rest, everything you're left with. So I can fade that down. And as I fade that down, I can fade the center channel up. And if you tweak this to a fine degree, you can actually get the acapella. But it kind of sounds like she's singing through a sock and socks. So Audio production. I wouldn't really advise this unless you really need an acapella. There are much cleaner ways to grab acapellas. Um, for example, talk to the artist or producer and ask if you can get the clean track. Audio production. Because that's not very clean. This, however, is super clean and I like it. Uh, so go ahead, have a play with the center channel extractor in Adobe Edition, remove vocals from your songs and do let me know how you get on in the comments to this video.